Okay, so now I want to spend a few moments talking about the importance of the hands and the grip in your short game practice and play. Whilst I don't want to turn this into a lesson on how to grip the club, I'm sure you've covered that in other areas of your coaching and practice, it's important to understand that you will have a preference, whether that preference is a, a baseball grip, here you can see all my fingers of, of both hands on the club, an overlapping grip, where my f little finger of my right hand overlaps my forefinger of the left, or an interlocking grip, where the forefinger and little finger interlock together. That's your preference. My grip, well, as a golf pro, I've got a fairly neutral grip. As you can see here, um, that would be orth termed as orthodox. You may prefer to have a slightly stronger grip where your hands are moved away from the target, slightly over the club. Or you may prefer to have a slightly weaker grip where your hands are turned more towards the target, so the left hand is more under the shaft and the right hand more over. Those are your grip preferences, and we won't go into those today. What I want to try to illustrate to you is that how you hold the club in your hands can have a, a big effect on the outcome of the golf shot. Grip pressure is very important. Most golfers grip too tightly. They hold onto the club because of tension or a conscious effort to control the club, which is really unnecessary. Try to grip at a, just a comfortable pressure and allow yourself to feel loose enough in your hands that you still have control but that the club will do the job you want it to do. If you want to create more hand and wrist action in your golf swing, a very loose feeling in the hands is important and also positioning the club in your fingers so that the, the grip is more of a finger grip and it loosens up the hands and wrists and allows you to create a much more free and flowing golf swing. If we want a little more stiff wristed action, if we position the club in the center of the palms or more in the base of the palms, whichever is your preference, and then grip a little bit firmer, what we find is we create a slightly more stiffer action, a little more wooden looking golf swing. Now the advantage of both those uh, type of styles is that with the loose one, we may prefer to, to choose that one when we want to play a high, soft, lobby type shot over a bunker to a tight pin placement. Whereas with the more stiffer action, the firmer grip in the palms, we're gonna play the shot that's probably more of a little low running one, a little like a chip and run or a little bump and run shot. So really, we've got options as a golfer. The, the, the pressure of the, of the hands on the club, the position of the grip of the club in those fingers or in those palms makes us a very big difference to the type of shot you're going to play and the outcome of the golf shot.